Canadian dreams come true. Stories of successful immigrants in Canada. Welcome to Discovering Canada, where we bring Canada to you. Today, we're going to share some amazing success stories of Canadian immigrants. Canada has long been a land of opportunity for people from all over the world, and these stories are a testament to that. Manjit Menius, 42 years old from India, immigrated to Canada in 1975. Manjit Menius came to Canada from India with her family when she was just four years old. Her parents worked hard to build a successful business, and Manjit was inspired by their work ethic. She went on to study engineering at the University of Calgary, but her true passion was beer. In 2006, she and her brother started their own brewery, which has since become one of the largest in the country. Today, Manjit is a successful entrepreneur and television personality and is known as the Beer Baroness of Canada. Robert Herjavec, 59 years old from Croatia, immigrated to Canada in 1970. Robert Herjavec was born in Croatia and came to Canada as a refugee when he was a child. He worked odd jobs to help support his family and eventually started his own company, the RKA Systems which provided internet security to businesses. He sold the company for over $100 million and went on to become a successful entrepreneur and investor. He is now best known for his role on the hit television show Shark Tank. Sharzad Rafati, 41 years old from Iran, immigrated to Canada in 1996. Sharzad Rafati was born in Iran and came to Canada as a student when she was 17. She started her career as a software engineer, but soon realized that there was a need for a better way to distribute and monetize online video content. She founded Broadband TV in 2005, which is now one of the largest media and technology companies in the world. Charzad has been recognized as one of the most powerful women in Canada and is a strong advocate for women in technology. Robert Lantis 72 years old from Hungary, immigrated to Canada in 1953. Robert Lantis was born in Hungary and came to Canada with his family as a refugee when he was a child. He grew up in Montreal and went on to become a successful film producer with over 50 films to his credit. He is known for his work on such films as Eastern Promises and Barney's Version and has been recognized with numerous awards, including the Order of Canada. Gina Cody, 67 years old from Iran, immigrated to Canada in 1979. Gina Cody was born in Iran and came to Canada in the 1970s to study engineering at Concordia University. She faced discrimination and bias throughout her career, but persevered and went on to become the first woman to earn a PhD in building engineering from Concordia. She also founded her own engineering consulting firm, which has been involved in some of the most high-profile building projects in Canada, including the Rogers Center and the CN Tower. As we've just seen, there are countless success stories of immigrants who have come to Canada and made a significant impact. But the list doesn't end here. Let's take a look at five more inspiring individuals who have overcome adversity and made their mark on this great country. But before we do, we want to remind you that at Discovering Canada, our mission is to celebrate the diversity and achievements of all Canadians and to share their inspiring stories with the world. If you've enjoyed hearing about these remarkable individuals, please hit the like button Share and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. And if you know someone who would enjoy this video, please share it with them. Now, let's dive into the next five success stories of Canadian immigrants. Arlene Dickinson, 65 years old from South Africa, immigrated to Canada in 1983. Arlene Dickinson was born in South Africa and came to Canada with her family when she was a teenager. She went on to become one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the country, with a net worth of over $100 million. She is best known for her role on the television show Dragon's Den, where she invests in and mentors up-and-coming entrepreneurs.
Joe Fresh, 69 years old, from Casablanca, Morocco, immigrated to Canada in 1955. Next, we have Joe Mimran, who is best known as the founder of the Joe Fresh fashion brand. Mimran was born in Morocco and grew up in Canada. He started his career as a fashion designer, and later on, he launched Joe Fresh in 2006. The brand quickly became a popular choice for affordable, high-quality fashion in Canada and beyond. Motes Kassam, 44 years old, from Kenya, immigrated to Canada in 1991. Motes Kassam is a Tunisian-Canadian hedge fund manager and philanthropist. He arrived in Canada as a student and went on to earn a degree in finance from the University of Western Ontario. Kassam started his career in the financial industry working for several prominent firms before co-founding his own hedge fund, Anson Funds. He is known for his philanthropy, particularly in the area of education, and has been recognized with several awards for his contributions to the community. Despite facing many challenges along the way, Kassam's determination and hard work have led him to great success in Canada. Kim Thuy, 53 years old, from Vietnam, immigrated to Canada in 1978. Kim Thuy is a Vietnamese-Canadian writer and restaurateur. She was born in Saigon, Vietnam, and fled the country as a refugee with her family in 1978. Thuy settled in Quebec and began her career as a lawyer, but she eventually turned to writing. She has published several highly acclaimed books, including, Rue, and, Vi. Thuy has also opened her own restaurant, called Jardin de Jade, which serves Vietnamese cuisine. Elon Musk, 51 years old, from South Africa, immigrated to Canada in 1989. Lastly, we have one of the most famous and successful immigrants to Canada, Elon Musk. Musk was born in South Africa, but he moved to Canada in 1989 to attend Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. After graduating, Musk went on to found several highly successful companies, including PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla. He is now one of the richest people in the world and a leading figure in the fields of technology and space exploration. As we can see from these success stories, Canada has a rich history of welcoming immigrants and providing them with opportunities to succeed. Whether they are refugees, skilled workers, or entrepreneurs, immigrants have contributed greatly to the country's culture and economy. We hope that these stories have inspired you and shown you that anything is possible if you work hard and follow your dreams. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos about Canada and its diverse population. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.